Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and I'm sorry it's been a couple days since I've done anything. I just finished reading uh, Spider-Man, the Spectacular Spider-Man The Hunger, so I will have that up by the end of the week. And then I'll also have the last testament, uh, and, or last will and testament of Eddie Brock uh, probably early next week. And those will be my last two discussion videos for a while. And actually, I'm going to probably cool off on the Venom episodes once we get to around episode 200, which is coming up in like eight episodes from now. I'll probably take like a week or two off leading up to Comic-Con, unless any major news comes off, uh, you know, like comes out. Don't expect me to make any videos. It's just I have a lot going on right now, and there's uh, some side projects I've been working on and some that I've been kind of not really putting off, but just haven't given my undivided attention to. So I've just been working on stuff like that. So don't worry, I'm not like, you know, sick again or anything like that. I'm still got content I'm still making. I'm, I'm Twitch streaming a little bit more this past week. Uh, we started playing the Kingdom Hearts games, and I'm just trying to look for other outlets to, you know, uh, you know, expand my creativity a little bit and try to venture out and do uh, you know change it up a bit uh, I am starting to get a little bit burnt out on the venom stuff and I didn't realize I was until it just kind of hit me one day like about two weeks ago and that's why these past two weeks have been a little bit tough on the venom stuff and without major news coming out constantly it makes it even harder for me to like you know really stay locked in so I apologize uh, I'm not trying to abandon the venom vlog at all it's just that I needed just a temporary break, and I still might need a temporary break uh, coming up. But I know Comic-Con, we're going to have a lot of news most likely, so I want to basically keep my energy ready for that because uh, I'm going to have to work a 40-hour week that week and try to stay on top of every piece of movie news that comes out at Comic-Con. So it's going to be a little tough, and so I'm kind of trying to mentally prepare myself for that. So I know a lot of you guys understand. You know I'm a one-man show over here. I don't have a team of people. I can't outsource stuff or have someone else make a video for me. Um, so there's it's just a lot for me to, to take on right now. But I promise you, you guys are a priority, and I'm sorry it's just taken me a while to get anything. And I want to thank Venom Gaming, actually, big time for this today because I wasn't sure I was even going to do a video uh, uh, you know actually tonight when I got home from work I was going to put it off until Friday and just do like two or three videos to upload to you guys on Friday uh, but since he sent this to me I thought this was really cool and I thought it would uh, you know kind of con continues a conversation we had a while ago about the special effects or the visual effects of the Venom movie so I'll put a link down below to that episode and a link to Venom Gaming uh, his channel so that way you guys can go and thank him personally or thank him in the comments if he comments down there because this was really awesome this is some deep digging here. Uh, this is just a blog by a group called Adafruit and I'll have a link down below. You can check this out from Venom Gaming. Um, this site uh, really captured something pretty cool. It's post-production stuff. It's kind of a visual effects related as well and it's using a technology that I wasn't prepared for and then when I was doing my initial research on what kind of technology that, that they'll be using in the Venom movie for visual effects and post-production, um, I didn't come across this computer or this type of computer at all. And so this is pretty neat that this guy found this information. Uh, it's called the Raspberry Pi or PI. Um, and there's a link. I'll have a link to their website and to this article down below and you can see the image here on screen And it's Tom Hardy sitting in a room uh, Surrounded by cameras and this is to do all kind of things. This is to do motion capture uh, This is to get a, a sense of him, you know Photograph him video, you know get some video of him doing certain movements so they can overlay this with the special effects So when they blend the two together, maybe it looks a little bit more realistic. Um, I don't know the full Detail of what they're doing here. It's all cameras and there looks like they're taking still photos It's also almost reminds me of bullet time back in the matrix Although I know it's not that but it kind of has that kind of setup um, Only bullet you know bullet time worked where it was like a, a camera every like millisecond taking a picture So it's like da -da 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 -da, so you could get that tracking shot. This is not that this is capturing movement I believe um, but uh, also certain looks of his so this is kind of neat and it's a behind the scenes photo that this person came across and he noticed that the computers that are hooked up there to the cameras, little white boxes, those are Raspberry Pis. And those are miniature computers that are, um, they're a series of small single board computers developed in the UK by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And uh, they're also, most uh, Pi systems or computers are actually made by Sony, uh, are made in a Sony factory in Pencoid, uh, Wales, in Wales. Hopefully I'm not, Pen Pencoid, I think is the, how you say that. And if I'm butchering that, I apologize. Um, but it's uh, the Sony factory in Wales that makes most of them, although they do make some in China and Japan too. So it is Sony owned, but these are very cheap and uh, or inexpensive computers and things that you could, you know, get this kind of effect for a really low price. And obviously that's 
pretty interesting to me because it makes me realize there are people behind this movie that are really shopping smart, if you will. They have a budget and they know what they can spend and they're like, all right, well, if we need to do this effect, but we can't spend like what, you know, Avengers, you know, money spends or even Spider-Man movies spend, uh, if we have to keep it on a lower budget, this is the tech we should use. And they went and dug up this uh, Raspberry Pi and you can see the logo of Raspberry uh, Pi on the side of the white boxes. So I just thought this was cool. I thought it was some neat information and it's definitely some stuff if you guys wanna read more about, I'll put links down below to the uh, Adafruit site. So big shout out to Philip Taroni uh, over there uh, who put this article up. Big shout out to Venom Gaming. Again, link to his channel down below so you can thank him. Uh, then also a link to the Raspberry website um, as well. And then also the, the video we made before where we talked about visual effects and who's making them, what four or five companies are a part of that and that are doing those visual effects and what each company might bring to the table. It's interesting to see this, uh, to see these computers uh, hooked up to these cameras. It's just neat. I, I don't know. I like behind the scenes stuff. I like to know how things are made and because uh, sometimes it gives you the understanding of why it's made, if you know how it is. And sometimes if you know, you know why, it leads you to the how. So this is just one of those cool things. So if any of you know exactly what this tech is used for, because I think it's motion capture to an extent, but it is, it's all these great cameras lined up on them. And I think it's just him doing certain movements so that they can, you know, elevate the symbiote, put the symbiote around him, uh, you know, put his image into a sequence that maybe, you know, he wasn't there before if they needed him to redo something. Uh, so there's different things like that. I mean, so it can, can be used for, for a number of different things, even close-ups, because sometimes it's like, oh, I'm in a room in my apartment fighting these guys, but there's a close-up and we didn't get it live on the day. So maybe this is a way to be like, all right, well, we can, you know, superimpose a background into this uh, without like green screen stuff and we can get something. Or again, because he doesn't have, doesn't look like he has any of the dots or anything like the stuff we know they use for motion capture, but there are so many new technologies out there now uh, that I I've, I've been out of the you know game when it comes to like keeping up with this stuff so this is you know for all I know I'm saying what this is but I feel like I'm not getting it hundred percent so if you know in the comments let me know what you think this is or if you know what this is what they're using this stuff for um, let me know down below so we can talk about it there and like I said, don't worry, I have more Venom stuff coming up. We're gonna wrap up the Eddie Brock stuff with uh, Last Will and Testament and The Hunger. Those will be the next two stories we do. Maybe I'll squeeze in Venom Bomb too, even though there's not much to say there, but it did come out around this time. Uh, so maybe I'll squeeze that in too. But uh, but mostly I wanna end on the Last Will and Testament of Eddie Brock. And I'm just not, re I'm, as I've been rereading the uh, Mac Gargan stuff, I just haven't been super excited about it. And I think that's starting to make me realize the burnout that I've been feeling. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if I could do like a whole month of just talking about Mac Gargan and spread all this stuff out. So I may just reduce the Mac Gargan stuff to fewer videos and figure it out that way. But uh, I do know that, you know, Comic-Con's right around the corner and we might have some stuff with that. And I want to be ready for that and, you know, cover everything I possibly can because this could be a big splash for Sony at Comic-Con. And I feel like they're going to drop a lot of news on us and maybe even enough news to where I can break each one down into different videos and make like a dozen videos for you guys. So I'm, I'm planning for that to be the case. And I hope that's the case um, because that'll also help me justify <laughs> taking a couple weeks off. Um, but I'm not going to be gone completely. I'm still going to upload videos on here and you'll still see Venom Vlog stuff occasionally. I just need to you know, take a step back. I mean, 200 episodes almost in seven months uh, on top of a full-time job and on top of writing a book and on top of streaming um, on Twitch from time to time. Uh, and then on top of doing regular everyday stuff and walking my dog and, you know, taking care of myself the best I can, going to doctors a lot lately. Um, these are all, you know, it's, if someone told me the other day, they're like, how do you do it? And I go, you know what? I don't know how, and I, it's starting to affect me. And, uh, and so I need to just take a breath uh, before I really just, you know, kill myself overworking myself. So I hope you guys don't mind me just, you know, simmering in, taking it a little slow for a while, uh, but I will do my best. And I have a ton, we played like 20 hours of Kingdom Hearts uh, over the past like five days. And so I will be uploading those videos and anything else I can just to give you some kind of content. But I promise Venom, uh, DC comic stuff, Transformer stuff, I'll have more for you guys very soon. So thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let me know what you think of all, all this cool stuff down below. See, I can't even talk right now. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Peace.